Apple's iPhone 12 is expected to launch in September 2020, although coronavirus-related production difficulties could delay it by a month or more. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. In this article we comb through the latest rumors about its release date, design, new features, tech specs and price, and clear up some of the gossip and speculation. We now have a pretty good idea of what to expect. The design squared off corners, larger screen, reconfigured camera array has been leaked, and the full specs list revealed. We have the prices of every model, which may see a bump this year. You can see what they look like, too, thanks to photos comparing it to older models. The latest rumor is that, controversially, Apple isn't going to bundle any headphones or a charger with the iPhone 12. That's going to make a few people quite annoyed. When will the new iPhone come out? The next batch of iPhones will be announced in autumn 2020, that's been the case every year since 2011, but it may not be in Apple's traditional September slot. Reports suggest that production of the affect the shipping date, which we've seen before, with the iPhone X in 2017, or if it will actually, and unprecedentedly, push back the date of the announcement. Broadcom for one has hinted that the launch will be pushed back from the third to the fourth quarter of the year. But that's not the worst of it. Sources familiar with the company report that Apple has been considering a delay of several months, which could easily push the iPhone 12's release back into 2021. The cause, as with so many delays and cancellations at the moment, is COVID-19. It played havoc with Apple's Asian supply chain in the early days of the outbreak, and the company's headquarters are now located in one of the more severely affected areas of the US. Its local public health body implemented a mandatory order against public gatherings as early as the start of March. Apple was expected to decide on its final launch timeframe by the end of May, but internal sources have yet to leak the decision. At present it seems most likely that the delay will be in the region of one to two months, but there's still time to pull it back. Design changes we're starting to get a good idea of what the iPhone 12 will look like is that the foldable iPhone prototype won't become a commercial product this year that's one for 2021 or beyond. Most recently, the leaker Max Weinbach claims to have obtained CAD schematics for the iPhone 12 Max, see image above, from which the YouTube channel Everything Aplepro 3D printed a sample and showed it off in the following. Weinbach stresses that the schematics are not complete he says basically display and body are correct, but the camera setup is wrong as a security measure, and cynics might view this as an attempt to cover himself in case it's wrong. But it fits with much of what we've been hearing previously. Watch the video for the full details, but the highlights include bezels that are 0.9 mm thinner than on the 11 Pro Max larger screen. 6.7 inches, compared to 6.5 inches thinner chassis. 7.4 mm, compared to 8.1 mm much smaller notch lighter sensor forms fourth element in square camera array notch, it's been expected for a while that we could see the shrinking or total elimination of the notch. The notch contains a number of important sensors those for face ID, for example eyes of its own. But we feel that would be the worst of both worlds. An admission that the notch was a misstep, the loss of an iconic piece of design, and a failure, still, to actually provide a seamless all-screen design. Based on the leaks above, it looks like the notch will remain, but take up less space. Which will please many but won't satisfy all. We suspect that the market as a whole will find it even more disappointing, however, if a more recent rumor is correct. That the notch won't be any smaller. This is based on leaked CAD images, which imply that Apple may have been seeding this information. Cameras Phone Arena has posted concept illustrations showing an iPhone with four camera lenses on the rear. This is madness, surely although it does fit the square housing rather neatly. The flash is placed in the center. It now appears more screen size the 2020 iPhones will come in three screen sizes. 5.4 inches and 6.1 inches for the basic models, and 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches for the pros. That comes from May's spec dump, but these numbers have been circulating for a while. If you're wondering what a 5.4 inches notched iPhone would look like, you're in luck. A McRumors forum user bought a dummy of the expected design and took photos comparing it to the first-gen iPhone SE and iPhone 7. It looks ideal for one-handed use, doesn't it? We got the same impression last year when Max Redberg, a Swedish graphic designer, created a concept illustration of how the new 5.4 inches size might look. The Mikado Kara report linked above also supports the existence of the new sizes. The site predicted some while ago that iPhones in 5.4 inches, 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches sizes would be launched in late 2020. The death of lightning it's a recurrent rumor, but will 2020 be the year Apple finally gives in and replaces its proprietary lightning port with USB-C, as it did on it not, since that was a special case fast data transfers to and from cameras being a requirement of many digital creatives. And owners of lightning-based headphones and other accessories would be pretty ticked off. But Apple's hand may be forced. 
the EU has been flexing its muscles for some time and in January proposed and subsequently voted to expedite a measure to force all mobile manufacturers to standardize around USB-C. As the register observes, however, Apple has ignored such measures in the past and may do so again in the future. If we think in the longer term, Apple has given some thought to the idea of ditching the idea of physical charging ports altogether. A patent uncovered in February shows an iPhone with no lightning port, no USB-C, and no buttons. But don't expect anything as radical as this to arrive in 2020. Rather, the portless iPhone will be here in 2021. That theory is backed up by a second source. Color options The iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max come in silver, gold, space gray and midnight green color finishes, the iPhone 11 is available in white, black, green, yellow, purple and iPhone 12 will follow the 11 in the main, but Apple will tweak the offering, depending on which colors were most popular. The XR from the year before came in white, black, blue, yellow, coral, reddish pink and red, but Apple dropped blue and coral in 2019 and replaced them with purple and green. If one of those hasn't performed, it'll get dropped in turn. As for the iPhone 12 Pro handsets, we expect a new color. Navy light green which we like, but provoked mixed reactions when it was announced. Here's what a navy blue iPhone 12 Pro could look like in a mock-up. We've already seen Fonarina's mock-up of what the iPhone 12 would look like with four rear-facing camera lenses and everything to Plepro's mock-up of a navy blue finish, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. In this section we will post the best iPhone 12 leaked photos, concept illustrations and videos as they appear. First up, take a look at these aluminium molds of the iPhone 12, which suggest the next generation of handsets will have straight sides and the same notch design as the iPhone 11. Note, however, that molds of this kind are frequently created by accessory makers based on popular rumors rather than inside information from Apple, so they could just reflect our own theories back at us. Don't bank on these being accurate. Read more in our separate article iPhone 12 molds leak indicating straight sides. The models clearly show a new square-sided design, reminiscent of the iPad Pro and the old iPhone 5. As for the camera arrangement, don't take that for granted, Dixon warns that cameras should not be taken the Apple will squeeze in a fourth sensor. Read more here. iPhone 12 dummies reveal flat-sided design. And that's not it for dummy units. The following dummies of all four iPhone 12 models, showing clearly the three different screen sizes and relocated SIM trays to accommodate the 5G antenna, come from the Japanese blog Makatakara, which cites Alibaba sources. And controversially, they have just twin and triple lens cameras on the rear, rather than the triple plus lighter camera units expected on the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max. These might be best taken with a pinch of salt, and remember they're just dummies, not the real thing. The image was posted to Twitter by Everything Desigliax, but originated on Chinese social media indeed, it may have been taken back in 2019, but hasn't attracted attention until now. It's L-shaped, which may seem odd considering that the iPhone 11's board is rectangular. The Swedish site Svetapple has posted a large number of attractive concept illustrations of the iPhone 12 Pro. Remember that these are not official leaks, but rather an artist's impression of what the device could look like. The most noteworthy aspects of Svetapple's renders are the new blue color finish, although that has been rumored before, and the inclusion of a lighter scanner, as on the 2020 iPad Pro. Leaked prototype from within Apple's supply chain, posted by the Japanese blog Makatakara. The site claims it's a 3D mock-up obtained from Alibaba sources, although it cautions that the leak's credibility is unknown. You'll note that the iPhone 12 depicted here has a far more squared off edge than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which it's compared to in the right-hand image above. This design brings the 12 closer to the 2018 and 2020 iPad Pro models. It looks like the magnetic connector that recent iPad Pros used to attach and charge the second-gen Apple Pencil, but as Makatakara points out, that stylus is too large to fit on a smartphone. It speculates about the possibility of a new, petite version of the Apple Pencil being released to suit the iPhone 12 and assumes 5G will be included, although that obviously doesn't affect the external design. The German design studio Hassan Kmak has created a concept video of the iPhone 12 Pro Max with an astonishing cluster of rear-facing camera lenses and sensors. It also ditches the notch and torque screws since apparently the display is stuck onto the frame and adds a 45W charger and fast wireless charging. It's easy to add features when you just have to decide what the device looks like rather than actually manufacturing and shipping it. Toman came up with this back in March 2019, but there are now lots of Android phones on the market, with vertically aligned rear cameras, including the OnePlus 7T Pro and, with five lenses. The Xiaomi Mi Note 10. Indeed the twin lenses on the iPhone XS and 11 are arranged vertically, and we feel that it's a slightly more attractive approach than the big square deployed on the 11 Pro and many concept images of the 12. New features A new iPhone needs a flagship feature or something an announcement event can be built around. 
In 2019 it was all about the cameras, triple lenses and night mode for some time, since before the iPhone 11 launched, in fact, but Apple is behind the curve in this department. Why the delay? The problem is getting someone to supply the modems. Apple used to partner with Qualcomm, but the two firms had a major falling out over patents, later relationship was set up with Intel, but that company has since quit the 5G arena and sold most of its smartphone modem business to Apple. So Apple could now make its own modems, but that won't be feasible until 2021. In the meantime, it's believed that deals with other suppliers, or with Qualcomm again, since legal matters have been resolved, are on track for a 5G launch in the second half of 2020. By which time, incidentally, 3 will have finally started offering 5G, and it will therefore be available to everyone in the UK in theory, and depending on geography. The other potential reason for Apple's late entry to the 5G party could be that it wants to do the thing properly. There are multiple versions of the technology, and the one everyone really wants referred to as millimeter wave, room wave, isn't widely available yet. Most people are offering a mid-band Hassani of Susquehanna, has predicted that Apple will release the iPhone 12 with only mid-band 5G capabilities, then follow up with a wave-ready model a few months later, which sounds to us like a recipe for customer discontent. But Ming Kai Kuo is reasonably confident that Apple will be ready from wave in time for the September 2020 launch. Indeed, he thinks that catering separately from Wave and sub-6GHC 5G mean the company will actually announce four different handsets in September, the largest number of iPhones it has yet rolled out in a single launch. Keeping on the technical side of things, Kuo has warned that Apple's 5G-ready handsets probably won't offer 2x2 MIMO uplink as had previously been predicted, and rather than 6 amplifier they will have only 1 or 2. This may only affect theoretical upload speeds, however, at least at launch. The carrier infrastructure is unlikely to support 2x2 immediately. Guys that is it for now any new up-